what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Some Haitian Florida goons destroyed a mural of the real G money because the deceased rapper's friend, Fred O'Bang, did not check in while in Florida. These clowns are really acting like they're stamping passports at the airport. They mask up. They're running around. Yeah, it will happen when you don't check in. You know what I'm talking about? West Side. You don't check in. It was going to happen. It will happen. Family, this is a direct result of Stockholm Syndrome. These same dudes don't require white entertainers to check in. They don't require white politicians to check in. They don't require white police officers or any police officers to check in. But they see somebody that looks like them who come from where they come from and have family still in these type of places. And they feel entitled to try to bully them, to control them. You see this whole check-in shit? That means really give us some money because we some bomb ass niggas and we ain't got shit. And we jealous of you having what you got. So we want you to drop us off a bag. That's what that's about. These are suckers. I don't give a damn what nobody says. All it is check-in. Man, I'll respect your check-in when you start making these white supremacists check-in when they touch down in your city. Start making Madonna check-in and Justin Timberlake check-in. Make Justin Bieber check-in. Make Donald Trump check in when he show up in your city. Don't own one damn block. Don't own one neighborhood block. Don't own a damn brick in the city. But telling somebody to check in. That sucker shit to me. I don't respect it, bro. I don't respect it at all. Some of y'all I know who were in that little clique, you're just there and you're being influenced. You know, you're, you're around the bad, the bad seeds. I get it. But if you can hear this message, hear me and hear me clearly. Get your ass up out of that raggedy shit before you get your head knocked off. Because that's what's going to happen. I can guarantee you within the next few months, at least a couple of those dudes will be dead. Do you want to be included in that couple of number? Come on, man. We got to be better than that as a people. We got enough enemies as it is. Trying to clown somebody like Fred O'Bang. Fred O'Bang, one of the good dudes. Why are you trying to lean on him in the first place? I don't get it, bro. I bet they won't go over there messing with those Jews and Cuban memorials, the Holocaust or the Havana Memorial. They won't even mess with the Torture Friendship Memorial because they know their beans from their cornbread. Straight cowards will only target people who look like them. Yeah, they got to go. We can't just keep focusing on exterior enemies. We have to focus on the enemy within. There are people out there in black communities all over the world who make it dangerous for black people to just live. With all of the hell we're going through already, they make it hard for black people to just live. They make it unsafe for the women and the children and the men to just live. Their ass has got to go. And we got to be okay with that. It doesn't matter if it's a childhood friend or a relative. Their ass has got to go. 
It's time to sound the alarm. Put it on out there. The real men step up. How you gonna say you love your community and you are gonna ride when somebody outside bring harm to the community? But all of these suckers and busters and clowns get a pass. They get to destroy the community with impunity. They get to do whatever they want. They get to kill and come back into the neighborhood and be welcomed with open arms. They're actually killing people in the neighborhood and they get to bring their asses back to the neighborhood and lay up comfortable, walk around without any fear of retribution. Their ass has got to go. And I ain't got no problem with that. Ain't nothing gonna be done. The hood will never be safe until these bastards are gone. When we start protecting our own neighborhoods and we start eliminating all of the trouble that's in the community, that comes into the community, whether it be exterior or interior, that's when you'll start seeing some change. External and internal. We got to get rid of them. We got to get rid of all of them, baby. It ain't going to work. It ain't, it just, you know, it's, it's like trying to, it's like trying to treat diabetes and, you know, you're going to dialysis or whatever. And at the same time, you're eating anything that you want to eat. It don't work like that. You're drinking anything that you want to drink. It don't work like that. These dudes is some first rate clowns. They're the three B's. Beggars, bums, and bullies. I'm not impressed. Bully some of these people who bully people in the black community. Impress me. That's how you impress me. You don't get no points for riding on your own. Where they do that at? And it's respected. They really think they're doing something. Like, yo, know, you got to check in. It will happen when you don't check in. You don't check in, check in. Clown asses. Every single one of y'all that was out there on that street, painting over a damn mural of a dead man, being disrespectful. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>